The majority of violent crime in Rio de Janeiro occurs in informal, low-income settlements known as favelas. A rampant drug trade, rival gangs, an abundance of guns and a brutal police force means that favelas are notoriously violent and dangerous places. With the World Cup and Olympic Games looming, authorities took a new approach to tackling the city's soaring crime rates. In 2009, one of the most fascinating policing experiments in the world began, something called the Pacification Police Units. And this was an attempt to change the nature of the police, to put police permanently in poor and low-income and very violent communities, sometimes for the first time, to change the relationship between police and citizens so that instead of trying to defend police institutions, they were actually defending people. And also to change the relationship between the communities and law enforcement. The first five years of the pacification program were widely seen as a success. However, over the past 12 months, a surge in shootouts has been felt in favelas across the city. Many favela dwellers fear a return to previous levels of violence. Giovanna lives in the Moro dos Prazeres favela in the hills above Rio. In 2015, during a prolonged gunfight between police and traffickers, a stray bullet pierced the wall of her house, hitting her 13-year-old daughter, Thais. At the start of the Olympics, the Moro dos Prazeres celebrated 62 days without armed conflict, just a few days short of their record. But for Giovanna and her family, this is little consolation. The recent increase in crime couldn't have come at a worse time for the Brazilian government. Besides its own residents, it's also trying to protect around half a million tourists and athletes during the Olympic Games. Brazil has deployed around 85,000 security personnel. That's double the number for the London 2012 Olympic Games. A sense of safety is back on the streets for now at least. The fear for many living in Rio de Janeiro's pacified favelas is that once the Olympics are over and the athletes, fans and film crews have gone home, the authorities will pull funding on pacification and the cycle of violence will continue. George Powell, Channel News Asia, Rio de Janeiro.